talk about how you get the water from up here to down here. So this is um, one of my favourite roofs, as you can see. It's a monoculture of uh, twitch grass. Not ideal, but kind of cool. Lots of rodents and stuff up here. And this is the most basic form of getting it from the roof to the ground. You just have the liner. It's the liner. It's just fixed over the edge of the uh, fascia and the water just drips off. Slightly irritating if you're in this sort of position because it kind of drips on you all the time. And it drips for many, many, many hours after it's rained. It's raining now, which is a bit unpleasant, but never mind. Uh, and this is another way of getting it off, letting it drip off these trays into a little piece of guttering. And then uh, this is a little bit of aluminium that we get formed. Uh, and then that takes it to the end of the building and drips off the end. But that is a really boring way of doing it in a conventional downpipe. Uh, it's good not to do this, but if you have to do it because the outlet's close to the building, then uh, you can use plastic or you can use galvanized but this is the average way and that comes out from an outlet at the top there pretty boring okay, so we're going to show you. we've talked about the boring ways of getting water from a green roof to the floor uh, and now we can talk about the cool way of doing it uh, there's websites you can put these things on you can use all sorts of things we've used cheap galvanized chain you can use rope hemp uh, it doesn't last quite so long but it looks quite cool uh, anything that the water can actually just drip onto and basically it's just trying to get it into a place you want it to go so it's just controlling it keeping it in one place and dropping it into wherever drain or water bath or pond or wherever you want it to go the other cool thing is that because it drips slowly you get birds use this to drink from in the summer um, and uh, also in the winter because we're on the north side of the building here this thing completely freezes in the winter and, and looks just as cool. Um, and it also proves, you can see this is still dripping now, so that's at least 12 hours before uh, the rain stopped. Uh, uh, after the rain stopped on my roof, this is our house roof. Um, so it's still dripping. So green roofs, as you can see, they hold huge amounts of water and then they release them really slowly. They're good for kids to swing on. Uh, they're good to slap people with. This is quite good. Get on one on the end of this. Uh, they're just more fun than a plastic jam.